Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the eHomful Mini USB Body Camera. You will receive the camera, a wrist strap, a cleaning cloth, and an instruction leaflet. This camera measures 4.5 inches long, 1 inch wide, and half an inch thick, and it weighs about 2 ounces. It has a glossy, plain black housing, with the lens and pinhole mic on the front, a clip below that, the power mode switch on the right hand side, record button on top, lanyard clip, and a cap on the bottom, which opens to reveal the micro SD memory card slot and USB plug for charging and data transfers. A memory card is required but not included, and the device supports cards up to 64 gigabytes. This camera is able to take 120 degree wide angle video with a max resolution of 1920 by 1080 p at 30 frames per second. To record video, set the power switch to the first mode with the camera icon. The LED on top will be a solid blue indicating that it is in standby. Then click the record button on top. The LED will flash blue three times and then turn off to be more discreet. However, it will be recording. Here's a sample of the 1080p video. I'm holding the camera about two feet away from my face, facing me in a brightly lit living room. If I move the camera about three feet away, here's where the fixed focal point of the lens appears to be. Any closer and details just appear to be somewhat blurry. I'm also speaking at a normal volume so you can see what the audio pickup is like. Note that this camera does not feature any infrared lights for night vision recording and performs poorly in dark scenes. The camera saves video files in 5 minute clips, and by default it loops over to write over the oldest file when the card is full. There is also no motion detection sensor, so you can't trigger a recording by motion. You will always have to physically press the record button to start and stop recording, and the camera will record continuously until stopped, runs out of battery, or the memory card is full if looping is switched off. To stop a recording at any time, press the record button again, and the light will return to a solid blue. Each 5 minute video clip is saved in AVI format and takes up about 1 gigabyte at 1080p, or 500 megabytes at 720p. If instead of video, you want to record audio only, set the switch to the second position with the microphone icon. The LED in standby will be green. Then, when you press the record button, the LED will flash green three times before shutting off. What you're listening to now is recorded audio from this device, and I'm holding it about a foot away from me. Again, while the unit is recording, the LED is off for discretion. Audio files are saved in WAV format, and a 1 minute audio clip takes up about 2 megabytes at 128 kilobits per second bitrate. There is no length maximum for audio only recordings, and recordings are not broken into clips nor looped over if the card runs out of space. Here's what the audio sounds like from 2 feet away. This is the audio from 4 feet away, and this is the audio from 8 feet away. The camera has a 550 milliamp hour LiPo battery inside, which allows you to use the camera up to 4 hours for video and 7 hours for audio before needing to be charged. However, at 1080p resolution on a 64GB card, you'll only get about an hour's worth of video before it loops, and with 720p video, you can get a little over 2 hours of video. To charge the camera or download the saved files, simply turn the unit off, then plug it into a USB port on your computer or laptop. You can also use it as a webcam when plugged into a computer. For charging only, you can plug the device into any powered USB plug or adapter. To set the time and date, plug the camera into your computer, then navigate to the SD card's main folder. Create or edit the text file named setTime.txt. In this file, type in the current date and time in the following format, year, month, and day of month separated by hyphens, comma, military hour, minute, and second separated by colons with no spaces between date and time. Then save and close the file you'll need to create a separate file called settings.txt for changing additional video settings, like video resolution, loop recording, and timestamp toggle. In this file, you'll enter three digits separated by commas, either 1 or 0. The first one sets the video resolution to 1080p. Changing it to 0 sets it to 1280 by 720 p resolution. The second one toggles on and off loop recording to overwrite the oldest video clip. 0 for off, 1 for on. And the third one toggles on or off the date timestamp, 
Again, 0 for off and 1 for on. Save and close this file and these settings will take effect the next time you run the camera. Note that you'll need to create this file every time you want to modify these settings. So for example, if I make the file 0, 1, 0, my videos will now be recorded in 720p, will loop over the oldest file, and be saved without a timestamp, as shown here. The video is now being recorded in 720p, will loop over the oldest file, and does not have the timestamp in the corner. Hopefully these clips have given you an idea of the quality of video and audio resolution on this discrete mini video camera and audio recorder. It's compact and fits in your pocket, and the clip helps it face out to capture first-person views as a body camera. The captured video isn't amazing, but has decent resolution for such a tiny lens, and the audio captured from its immediate surroundings is usable, even if it's a little noisy. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and join me next time.